All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me, you only do so if you actually can. Apologies for any audio glitches. My mic is starting to fail after about eight years. So just a quick water levels update here, specifically for Lake Powell. Lake Powell being one of the two mega reservoirs along with Lake Mead along the Colorado River. Both of them sharing the purpose of storing excess water to release along the Colorado River so that the river's water flow remains adequate if it otherwise would not be. And the time period of it otherwise not being at an adequate flow rate has, since we rolled into the 21st century, basically become all the time. So both Lake Mead and Lake Powell have been perpetually uh, going at a net loss of water level each year, for most years at least, with some years being the exception. This year being one of those exceptions, for Lake Powell especially, and not because of a abnormally large amount of rain, but because of an excessive amount of snow that that area of the Rockies received back during this past winter, which obviously now, over the heat of uh, summer and late spring, has been melting and running off down the mountains and into the upper Colorado River, eventually gathering in Lake Powell and giving enough of a massive replenishment to the point of Lake Powell now having regained this year enough replenished water level to counteract the past two years of water level loss. Over the course of 2021, Lake Powell having dropped from 3,582 elevation feet of water level all the way down to 3,537. And for those who don't know, the U.S. lakes and reservoir system is measured in elevation feet, or the height of the water surface above sea level. That's not the actual depth of the lake. And then last year, 2022, Lake Powell continued dropping from 3537 down to 3525 elevation feet. And over the early part of this year, it continued dropping from that down to about 3519, which was getting dangerously low because for Lake Powell or for Glen Canyon Dam, the dam that holds Lake Powell back, the water intake for the turbines that generate power at the dam is not that much farther down. The intakes are between 3490 and 3500 feet. So it only had about 20 feet of water level left to go that it could have lost before the dam would have had to shut down in terms of its power generation, which would have taken about one gigawatt of constant power generation off the grid. Not all that much of an impact on the entire U.S. grid, as the entire U.S. grid is usually running around 500 gigawatts. However, for that local area around Glen Canyon Dam, that would have caused a lot of flickering and low current issues. And that was most likely going to come next year had the massive amounts of snow that came through the Rockies this past winter not happened. And because of those, it now looks like the Glen Canyon Dam shutdown is probably postponed at least for two years plus the amount it would have had to lose this year, so probably off until 2026 now. As over the course of receiving all of this snowmelt runoff that is now starting to taper off, as you can see from the water level chart starting to curve out, Lake Powell has regained water level from 3,519 elevation feet all the way up to 3,582. And with the way it's curving out, it looks like it's going to taper off somewhere between 3,585 and 3,590 before then proceeding with some portion of what would be its normal yearly decline. How much of that it will go through, I don't know, but I would suspect for a safe assumption, probably back down under 3,580 into the 3,570s. As always, though, we'll have to wait and see as things go on. Anyways, that's it for this one. So thank you, everybody, for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. There's also dozens, hundreds of other episodes about all kinds of stuff and issues on the channel you can listen to if you want. Or you can go subscribe to my Catch channel as well. But no matter what happens to me anyways, may God bless and protect all of you. And I will see you all around next time.